Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Tenderfoot Tactics. Tenderfoot Tactics is a tactical RPG about witchy goblins <laughs> meddling with natural systems. Final Fantasy Tactics inspired with deterministic combat where small choices, nevertheless, have complex and unpredictable consequences. So, I mean, you've got me at Final Fantasy Tactics inspired. Absolutely. This is a pre-alpha, so just want to make you all aware of that. Don't think that this is, you know... A final representation of the product and the dev the developer was actually nice enough to send us over a code for this so we could check it out I reached out to him on Twitter and said this looks really really cool so it's being developed by uh, Badru sorry if I mispronounced that I Michael Bell and Isa Hutchinson again sorry if I butchered any of your names but uh, I played this for about five minutes just to check it out and I really like the direction it's heading, so I wanted to show it off to all of you. Right now, all we have is the Foreverlands, which I believe is just procedurally generated and just kind of random. Correct me if I'm wrong. And here we are, in the world. And these are our little goblin friends. What do we got down here? We've got Pascal, Dexter, and Willow. I really like the way this looks. I really enjoy the fog kind of off in the distance. But I definitely wanted to take a look at this. I like the aesthetic. Ooh, we got spotted. So actions in turn order. Combatants are shuffled into a random turn order at combat start. When your unit is up, you can move or act with it in either order. You can also wait to skip. We can move around with WSD and turn the camera with our typical Q and E controls. So our options are move, act, and wait. So let's act. What do we have right now? Short bow, range three, and deals 30 damage. So when a unit is hit with a flanking attack, it is unnerved and falls back in the turn order. So this should be flanking if we hit him. Let's go back one. Let's move up a space. Simulation time. While units move and act, simulation progress in time. Water, soil, moisture, plant life, fire. Simulation time pauses while you make decisions. Gotcha. So this should knock him back in the turn order. Let's see, that did 30 damage and he's got 75. We can hover over him to see exactly where he is. Or excuse me, we can hover over him to see his movement. It says they're feral, so I wonder if maybe they're going crazy. And this is obviously, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics inspired. We pick our direction facing. Well, I mean, I say it's Final Fantasy Tactics inspired. That's the first game I ever saw picking your direction after movement. So let's move up. Unnerve him, knock him back a little bit in the turn order. And he socked this one right in the jaw. Can we get close enough to deal with him? Now, I wonder if this is actually going to block our shot. This is something to learn. Well, it's too far away, so it wouldn't do us any good anyways. We've almost got him down. Might be wise to move over here. So we could hit him, or we could go ahead and finish him off. Let's finish him off, and let's turn around. Ooh, that's a cool effect. Hey, Pascal leveled up, Dexter leveled up, and Willow leveled up. Now, I'm not quite sure why our other enemy disappeared when we took that one out. But let's check out our level ups. So we can train, evolve, rename. Let's evolve. So we can go to a scout, or a knight. Oh, this is super cool. Final Fantasy Tactics is one of my favorite games ever. I grew up playing that relentlessly. I think I still have a save game on a PS1 memory card that has over 400 hours in it, you know. This was back when I was a kid and only owned like four games though, so. <laughs> well, let's evolve to a knight. Come oh. on, Pascal. 
Very cool. I'm excited about that. Uh, train. So we have one unspent point. Attack. Oh, so do we need to learn the ability to attack? Praise heals 15 health. Well, then let's do that because we definitely need to be able to attack. Can we change these out anytime we want? We can. Okay, I like that. Do we have anything else we can turn into? No, so let's keep these guys as our scouts. First aid. Range 1 heals for 55. Strangle. Ooh, double damage from behind. Song. Heals 30. Square effect shape. Oh, okay, so it heals almost everybody around you. Grenade. 25 damage. Lowers earth. Square effect shape. Destroys plants and within two range of us. Shortbow 2. We can upgrade our shortbow again. You know what? Let's make Baxter <laughs> Let's make Dexter a better shot. Let's make Baxter a deader shot. Yep. And let's make Willow our healer. So the question is, do we want to be able to heal more? Do we want to be able to heal everyone around us? Honestly, it's probably going to be hard to get everybody together to heal them, so let's just go with our regular first aid here. What is that? So let's keep going. Let's explore. Hmm. Huh. So I wonder if this is the way we're supposed to progress because there's an icon above it. Oh. And who are you? Oh, I thought we were going to be friends. Can't we be friends? So we definitely want to get Pascal up here to block some of these folks. Chivalry. Okay. Whoops. So Dexter is our better shot here. Mm, hang on a second. I don't know what happened there. Yep, yeah, move. And then act. So now he deals 40 damage. So that's good. Ooh, there's a lot of foliage popping up here. So they're having to attack the foliage to get to us, or they're attacking it because they're feral and confused? Let's move you here. And we can do our short bow, or we can heal. Let's go ahead and use our short bow. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I thought that would kill him. Well, this should definitely kill him. Awesome. So we're safe for the time being. So it looks like we can shoot through the foliage. Let's get Willow up here. So we can actually heal our buddy up a little bit. Oh, and they ran off. Hey, and we leveled up. Oh, okay. Well, I guess let's fight these guys too, because they came back after us. Well, that's kind of interesting. Put one of our characters over here. So let's move. Let's move in. At least we can probably unnerve this guy. Knock him back in the turn order a little bit, because it was a flanking attack. He flanked us right back. So let's hit him with the short bow. Hey. 
And I'm actually pretty happy with where we are right now. So let's just wait here. And Dexter, we definitely... Uh-oh. Dexter can't get over there. He's blocked in by foliage. Can we get rid of the foliage? Uh-oh. So Dexter is currently trapped. <laughs> I am worried about Pascal. Let's move over here. Let's take you out. Pascal has 30 HP. So we can hit him, but it's not going to do a whole lot of good. So let's cut this bush. And let's run away. <laughs> that way we can at least heal ourselves. Mm, Dexter's still trapped. Can we at least take pot shots at this guy, who is also kind of trapped? We can. I hope he's not perma dead. Hmm, now I wonder why I wouldn't let Dexter move through there, but it will let Willow move through there. Maybe I missed something? This is also a good opportunity for us to find out. Can you heal yourself? You can, very good. Well, we're going to use you as a shield. Meat shield. And run it away. Okay, so he's unconscious and he just doesn't gain XP. And who are you? Oh, he joined us. Cool. So who do we have now? Artemis. So you've got to level up before we can bump you up to a soldier. Okay. Do you have anything we can train? Nope. But we do have extra points for these guys, so Pascal gets another ability. That's good. Praise. Heals 15 health. Promotes target in turn order by 3. Insult. Deals 15 damage and demotes target in turn order by 3. Deals 30 damage, destroys plants. Cross effect shape, gotcha. Heals 25 health and grows plants. Well, let's go with our sweeping blow. Let's search what else we got. Dexter does have a point. Yeah, let's get an even better short bow. And for Willow, what do we want to do? We can upgrade her short bow more. First aid two. Range 2 and heals for 70. Yep, you are definitely going to be our medic. So hang on a second. Does it just switch to whoever we have selected? I kind of want to walk around as Pascal. Dude looks cool as heck. He's our warrior goblin. Ooh, what's that over there? Well, let's fight these guys. Get Pascal some of that XP. Also try out our new friend, whose name I've already forgotten. Well, let's at least get everybody clumped together nice and proper. Artemis. There we go. One, two, three... So it looks like if we move up one, we can go ahead and start taking pot shots at these guys. We'll get socked once ourselves, but there sure is a lot of foliage that's constantly popping in. I don't know how I feel about that. So sweeping blow. 
Oh, and that's going to hit our guy too, which is not good. That's not what we want. Yeah, the foliage... I don't... Like, it's good that it's a changing battlefield. There's a lot of interesting dynamic things that can happen with that, but it seems like it's often. Maybe a little too often. Can we shoot at you diagonally? We can. Problem solved. They're like, oh god, get out of here. Good job, Artemis. Artemis, I think maybe, just maybe, you should be our second knight. I like the character design a lot. I think it's really cool looking. Do we need a second knight, though? What's the health difference? So, yeah, he does have much better health. If anything, let's go ahead and let's upgrade him to a knight. Whoops. Sorry, I got confused. Just clicking the wrong thing. Let's get rid of Shortbow to give us two skill points, though. And let's evolve him into the knight. Yep. A common sturdy breed, good for blocking narrow passages. Natural leaders whose words inspire and demoralize. So now we should have... No, we don't have two skills. That's kind of weird. I wonder why that other one went away. But we definitely want to learn attack. That one's pretty important. And I've already lost where we were going. Aha! Ooh, is that another goblin friend that we can get? Uh, that looks like five goblins. I don't want to mess with them. Can we stealthily sneak through? Nope. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. At least until we get our new friend. Who are you? Okay, cool. It pauses everything. Willow, Dexter, Pascal, Dragon. Ooh. Now we can actually upgrade to an archer. So I guess these skill points are indicative of your level. So a level 3 scout will have 3 skill points. It's not what I meant to do. Well, let's... Dexter can go up to be an archer too. So I think we should turn him into an archer. He definitely seems... He's our bowman, so... With a keen eye and a strong arm, experts at dealing focused damage from great distance. Farsight plus zoom. Okay. Let's train you. Hmm. He's not going to deal nearly as much damage, though. Ooh. A lot of interesting things we can learn here. That's okay, though, because we want to actually get him some more experience. And Willow, what do we want you to get? You've already got first aid too. Oh, never mind. It was just showing us that we could. Uh, never mind. I looked at it weird. Oh, they have a knight now. That's probably not good. At least we're not outnumbered anymore. So let's take a shot. Range three to five. Okay, so his range is a lot better now. But we are dealing less damage, at least four now. Oh no. Look out. I wish there was an option to switch places with a character. Because right now there's, like, nothing we can do. Which is a bummer. Let's at least move you to get in a better position. Jeez. Getting our butts kicked. It's 
so that'll one-shot him. He's got 125, but that'll unnerve him. <sighs> yeah, let's unnerve him. Knock him back some more. And we'll need both of you to take him out. Yeah, we need to get you out of there. Let's heal up. I don't know what I was doing. Hitting the wrong button, obviously. You can definitely feel the Final Fantasy um, inspirations, and I don't have a problem in the world with that. Like, a lot of the job skills and things are obviously inspired. So this does hurt us from making direct attacks within one square. We need to get Willow over here and start healing folks. Too late? It's too late. Artemis can 1v1 that guy. No problem. move back here. We should be able to kill one of them off next turn. Yeah, let's take you out. Because you're definitely becoming a problem. And let's move you out of harm's way. You're not going to be good for much this next turn, so let's go ahead and heal up Artemis. And then let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, that's right, you better run. So we'll need to get up and heal pretty quick. Let's chase this one down. I really want to finish this night off. So when, if you look, when you attack from behind, it says unnerve two. And Willow's going to get a turn before this, so she can at least heal herself. Okay. I like that. And I also like that their turn order is put right above their head. No, don't want to move. Want to heal. Yeah, that's right. Joe better run. Poor Dexter got his head knocked in. Oh, and we're fighting again. I'm not gonna lie, that music is um, oppressive and scary. It's just whoa, and then people are just running you down, and um, it freaks me out a little bit. Let's get you over here with your friends. And let's move Artemis up. And we're gonna go ahead and take a swing. Always having to punch me and my friends, huh? I see. I see how it is. Probably wasn't smart to do. Uh, let's leave you where you are. Can we attack you from here? We can. Uh, I do like the evolutions they've made to the formula. You know, in Final Fantasy Tactics, 
whenever you hit someone, you got experience specifically for hitting them, you know, and you could get job experience or you could get regular experience. Your regular experience would work on your level up and your job experience would work on your jobs level up. The higher level in the job you were, the more uh, skills you could learn. I like that so far, you know, and like I said, this is a pre-alpha, so a lot is subject to change. But so far, I really like that there's just one type of experience. Um, I like how it's a little bit more simplified. It moves a little faster. Because this way... You don't... A lot of the times... So when you're playing, you know, a game for the first time, like Final Fantasy Tactics, you end up wasting a lot of your skill points on things. That there just wasn't a whole lot of point in doing it. It's like, well, that's not what I meant to do. Or, oh, great, now I'm stuck with that. And I really like that you can go back and forth to change out your skills anytime you want. So, you know, if you're a level 5... A scout, then you're always a level 5 scout, and you have 5 skill points to put into things. Now, I'm sure the tree will grow. I don't like how much everybody runs away. Whoa. I don't know if that's indicative of how much damage you've dealt, or how much... or how many enemies you've knocked unconscious, but it looked like we'd only knocked one unconscious at the time. So let's check. Yeah, let's make her attack better. I assume it's a her, because it's Willow. But hey, I mean, if there's any guys out there named Willow, cool. I don't got a problem with that. Deals 45 damage and knockback 1. Oh, but that takes away our attack? I mean, I guess that's okay. So this only heals us. I mean, it does more damage, and it gives us knockback. Okay, we'll just do shield bash. And Dragon is getting ready to level up. First aid again, Strangle. Maybe he should be our sneaky boy. He'll be our Grenadier. I like it. Pascal's ready to level up again. So the sweeping blow can hit multiple targets. Slam. Pierce to do the same thing, just does more damage. Dexter here. So Salvo hits multiple targets, I'm guessing. Fire arrow generates fire. Fire arrow 2 generates more fire. Lance. I'm not sure what Lance does. Oh, a line effect. So I bet it pierces through them. Let's go with Sal, though. I want to check that out. And everybody's points are spent. Cool. I want to see what these things are. Is this like a dungeon we can go into? Whoop. Oh, man. This looks, uh, it might not be good. There are seven of them. So we're probably gonna die. Can we chuck a grenade at that guy? Not too far. Well, let's lump up. Ouch. And we're already getting shot at it. Let's get Pascal up here. Go ahead and start dealing some damage. Let's try out this slam. Knocks him even farther back. Dexter. 
Let's try out your salvo attack. Where exactly can we drop this thing at? We can drop it here. Deal some extra damage on these fellers. Or lady goblins. It's hard for me to tell. So Willow deals more damage now. He's going next. A spell sword? Oh, that's a cool class. I want to play as a spell sword. It's going to be his turn soon. So, Artemis, are you able to get up there and deal with this guy? Yes, which is good, because I'm scared of him. You guys still want to fight? Ooh. Oh man, that fire is spreading quick. Um, those groups look like a pretty good opportunity to use that grenade. So it looks like it goes two in front of us. So if we get here, we could use it there. It might hurt Pascal a little bit. Oops, wrong button. I at least want to try out our grenade. So yeah, we'll hit two, but we'll also hit Pascal. Bye. Hopefully, ugh, that's not good. We need to get Willow up in there and start healing folks. Yeah, I think we're gonna die here. We're outmatched and outnumbered. Who do we want to go after? Spell sword seems like a good choice. But so do these guys, just to get them out of the way some. Yeah, Dexter, you just hang out there. Okay, so Willow's up next. Who do we need to heal? We got Pascal and Artemis. Alternative question, who can we heal? Looks like Artemis may be the only one that we can get to. Ah, uh, well, that would be true if I hadn't upgraded this. Oh, uh, sorry, Pascal. And Dragon. And Artemis. Oh, God. This is, this is not going good. Yeah, get some. We're in a special trouble now that our healer is dead. I'm sorry, our healer isn't dead. Yeah, we're we're boned though. This is kind of what I figured was going to happen when I saw how many people were here. But all I saw was an icon on the map, and I said, "Hey, I want to check that out," and I did. And it was not a smart idea. Not at all. Run, Willow. As far as I know, there is no way to run. No run mechanic. Not one that I've seen, anyways. So yeah, we don't want to go there. Is this another boss fight? Well, boss fight, air quotes, like a, a big dungeon battle. It looks like it. Uh, what are those guys? Those guys are interesting looking. A woods witch. Some knights. Woods witches. Some ferals. Huh. Yeah, so that's really interesting. But regrettably, we are out of time for the day. And I just wanted to show this off. I just wanted to take a look at it and get it on 
your mind. You know, I, I wanted you to see this, start digesting it, and I really like this a lot. I really like how fleshed out it looks like the the upgrade system is going to be. I really like all the character designs. Um, I'm excited to see what kind of story this has. But yeah, there wasn't anything about it I have not loved so far. I actually really want to keep playing it. And I probably will off camera, you know, get a better feel for the system. But this is definitely something we're going to keep an eye on. I'm definitely going to show this off more. Right now we're at build 0.7.1. So every time a substantial build comes out, I'm definitely going to take a look at this and, you know, show it off if there's enough new content to show off. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. A big thank you to the developer for sending over a code for us to check out. I'll put links down in the description to him. Make sure you go and check him out. And we'll see you next time. Bye.